Hello YouTube! Today in the Naughty Librarian I'm bringing you another book haul and unboxing. Before the whole shelter in place, the quarantine order went through, I did go to some library book sales. So I did not go to these sales recently. This was like over a month ago. I just hadn't got around to filming it until now. <laughs> so please don't think I'm going out to them right now. I am sheltering in place as the mandate says. These were bought over a month ago. They've just been chilling. Let's go through these books. The last book haul from a library book sale I'm getting for quite a while. And also I've gotten some packages from publishers and other things, so we'll, we'll go through all of it. First up, I have In the Highlander's Bed by Kathy Maxwell. And I got it mainly just because it said Highlander and it's gonna have a smutty tab. Ooh, look at that smutty tab. <laughs> Okay, that is a smutty tab. Like, they're they're just gonna do it. Okay, smutty tab, check. So this one is about um, uh, a Highland warrior named Lachlan, of course. And uh, he's been fighting the British for a long time because that's what they did. And he's like, I want my sword back. And I know who has it. It's those dang Brits. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go over to this boarding school, kidnap their daughter, ransom her for the sword. So he goes to this boarding school, he kidnaps Constance, and she's just like, oh my gosh, an adventure, cool. And he's just like, wait, you're not supposed to like this. And she's like, no, but I really like it. And he's just like, okay, it's not really a meet cute. I don't really like the premise now that he's like, kidnapped her? I mean, she seems to be in for it because she wants to go for an adventure, but like, that's kind of problematic. But I'll have to see how it goes if I read this to see if it's forgivable or not. Because sometimes bad behavior is forgivable, depends on the situation. So, um, I don't know. I got it mainly because Highlander and has a decent smutty tab. We'll find out. Maybe, maybe it's okay, maybe it's funny. Who knows? Who knows what's gonna happen to these Highlanders? Probably smutty stuff. It, it, it's a romance. <laughs> I also picked up The Heiress by Lindsay Sands because I have really been enjoying Lindsay Sands' historical romances. And this one has a smutty tab that's actually somewhat smutty. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, because usually the like the Lindsay Sands smutty tabs are just like a field. And I'm like, you've cheated me out of a smut tab. So this one's about Suzette and Daniel. And Suzette, she's got a load of money in her dowry. And her father's got gambling debts, but she can't touch her dowry until she, you know, gets married. So she's like, okay, here's the deal. I gotta find a guy who's, you know, titled and I can marry, but who's so damn poor, he'll be happy just to have access to my dowry so long as he allows me access to, to my dowry so I can like pay off my dad's gambling debts and it'll all work out for the best. And then she finds this guy, Daniel, and he's like, oh, you're titled and you're poor? Hello. But turns out Daniel, yes, he is titled. However, he is lying. Um, there's a lot of uh, fortune seeking mothers hoisting their daughters onto him. And he's just like, you know what, I'm poor, ha ha. And all the ladies that foisting their daughters onto him. So he's pretending to be poor. And all of a sudden this lady comes up to him and she's like, hey, I like that you're poor. And he's like, uh, but the thing is, so there's this big white lie here. And um, I, I, you know what, as far as white lies go, that's not so bad. It's just like, oh, your, your secret is that you actually have a lot of money. What a hardship. <laughs> So as far as white lies go, I think that was pretty forgivable. But um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I've been really enjoying Lindsay Sands as an author. She writes total book candy and sometimes I just want candy, you know? So I, I'm excited. This one isn't part of her Highlander series, it's a different series, but uh, I'm into it. I'm excited for this one. Speaking of Lindsay Sands, I also picked up The Perfect Wife. It feels like really old school like romance. It has like an oil painting field on the front. It looks like it's a romance novel, but doesn't look smutty. However, I think it's gonna be smutty because I'll read you this one line from the blurb. Payne Gervell longed for a lively, well-rounded woman, one whose plump breast would cushion his head after the lonely, harsh life of a solitary fighting knight. <laughs> He just wants to lay his head on some titties. Like, <laughs> it's just like, what is happening? I feel like this is more um, medieval rather than Regency era, because he's a knight. So I'm thinking this is like a little even older romance. And it's about this girl, um, Evelyn, and she's just like, oh, I'm kind of plump and I blush a lot and I don't think my husband's gonna like me. And he's just like, lady, 
those are some boobs and I want to put my face on them. <laughs> so, um, I think, yeah, the perfect life for him. He just wants a nice pair of boobs. And I'm like, you know what? Good for them. They both getting something they want out of this, I guess. <laughs> I'm surprisingly very tickled by this. I want to read it. I think it's going to be funny. <laughs> I also got this copy of Matilda by Roald Dahl and just because it's freaking Matilda I didn't have my own copy and I used to read this so much when I was a kid I love Matilda I mean I don't really need to get into what Matilda is about uh, in case somehow you do not know Matilda is a, a heartwarming childhood classic about horrible child abuse <laughs> Matilda is a very smart little girl she loves books and loves reading and she also has magical powers and her parents are the dumbest people who have ever lived and just treat her like garbage. And at her school, there's Miss Trunchbull who is, um, she just hates children and she, and she torments them there too. And then she's just like, Matilda's like, oh, I gotta get rid of this lady. I'll be a hero. And then, you know, everything turns out for the best in the end. Like there's a nice teacher who's like, Matilda, you're special. And then like, she gets to live with a teacher. Sorry, spoiled the ending, but it's a children's book. Obviously it'll have a happy ending. So. <laughs> Matilda, my roll doll. I love Matilda as a kid. I finally have my own copy as a grown up. This next book I grabbed simply because um, it is beat up. Like the cover is kind of fraying. However, this is a first edition copy of The Alienist by Caleb Carr. So this is from, I believe, 1994. This was originally published. Let me check. Yes, 1994. So this is a first edition copy of it. And it's a um, you know, Victorian era. And it's about, you know, criminal psychology and the beginning of that and they're hunting for murderers. And um, it, it, there's a TV show made about this and I, I, I like it. I, I want to read this kind of. I think it might be good. At least going to be demented. I like demented things. <laughs> you know, it, it's going to be, you know, solving crimes in the Gilded Age of New York. So for a period piece, I feel like it'll be fun. And also, hey, first edition. So I, I grabbed it. Library book sale, 50 cents. Killing it here. I also grabbed a copy of Brown Eyed Girl by Lisa Kleppis. I had no idea Lisa Kleppis wrote contemporary. I thought she was mainly like a historical romance person. And then I saw this, I'm like, there ain't no way that's historical. She was showing way too much knee. Mm -mm. There's an ambitious wedding planner named Avery and she is like, doesn't believe in love. She doesn't have time for love, whatever. And then this hot guy, Joe, He's like, hey, and she's just like, ooh, and then like one night stand, she's like, bye, and he's just like, but wait though, because like I want to date, and she's just like, no, and he's just like, we're totally going to date, and it's one of those books, there's a heartwarming conclusion probably, and I don't know how I feel about it, I mainly just grabbed it because I'm like, I didn't know Lisa Clapp has wrote contemporary at all, and I haven't had the best of luck with her historicals, but I'm like, maybe I'll like a contemporary? Is less likely the guy's gonna be a dickhole in this, maybe? Who knows, I'm gonna try it out. Maybe I'll like it. <laughs> also at the library book sale, find of all finds, I have In the Woods by Tana French. And I have been told by so many people that this book is incredible. I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, and I grabbed it real quick and I snatched it to my body because I was like, how am I the only person who saw this at this library book sale and who isn't taking it? I got it for a dollar, I got it for a dollar. And it's like a hardcover, like first edition of it. I was, I was so happy. <laughs> So it happens in Dublin and uh, we're following these detectives trying to solve um, a murder. Basically one of the cops, he was kidnapped as a boy and he was found in these woods and now he's all grown up in a detective and then lo and behold, a young girl is now murdered in that same wood and it's in strikingly similar circumstances. So um, kind of tough psychologically for him and they have to find the killer and, it, and I'm assuming there's gonna be twists and turns and like gasp moments and um, I've been recommended this book so many times and I do want to read a good thriller I have a hard time finding thrillers that I find thrilling oftentimes I find they are lacking tension at least the ones I have been reading so maybe I've just been reading bad ones but um I've heard amazing things about this one I'm really excited about it in library books I got it for a dollar yes I felt like it was like I found treasure <laughs> I also got this package this is from the publisher I think 
this is from Fierce Reads, I'm pretty certain. I received Hunted by the Sky by Tanaz of Batina, and this is from Fierce Reads, so thank you very much from Fierce Reads for sending me a copy of it. And this goes on sale June 23rd, 2020, and I saw it, and I was like, oh, this looks cool. I'll just read the blurb since this is an ARC and was sent to me by the publisher, so I'll just read the blurb so we both know what's going on here. Gull has spent her life running. She has a star-shaped birthmark on her arm, and in the kingdom of Anbar, girls with such birthmarks have been disappearing for years. Gull's mark is what caused her parents' murder at the hand of King Lohar's ruthless soldiers and forced her into hiding to protect her own life. So, when a group of rebel women called the Sisters of the Golden Lotus rescue her, take her in, and train her in warrior magic, Gull wants only one thing. Revenge. Kavas lives in the tenements, and he's just about ready to sign his life over to the king's army. His father is terminally ill, and Kavas will do anything to save him. But sparks fly when he meets a mysterious girl, Gull, in the capital's bazaar, and as chemistry between them undeniably grows, he becomes entangled in a mission of vengeance and discovers a magic he never expected to find. Dangerous circumstances have brought Gull and Kavas together at the king's domain in Ambar Fort, a world with secrets deadlier than their own. Exploring identity class duggles and high stakes romance, Hunted by the Sky is a gripping adventure set in a world inspired by medieval India. Oh, that sounds good. Okay, so I love warrior magic. Girl, like, out for vengeance, love. Then you have, like, this lovable sidekick boy, and I'm sure, you know, there's gonna be kissing involved, but I'm, like, into that. So this has, like, a lot of things I'm really into, and honestly, the setting medieval India sounds incredible. I want to see something like lush. I want to see this environment. So I'm very, very excited about this one. So thank you so much to Fierce Reads for sending this to me. I'm so pumped about it. And again, it comes out June 23rd. I also got this book from, oh, okay. I know what this is. This is actually from DC Entertainment. And they said, hey, we have this book. Do you want it? I'm like, F yeah, DC Entertainment, send me your book. <laughs> So thank you DC Entertainment for sending this to me. I got a copy of Gotham High and this was written by Melissa De La Cruz, very famous author, illustrated by Thomas Petilli. And it's kind of, um, you know, it's like all of the, the Gotham characters, but they're in high school together. So it's kind of Riverdale, but with like Batman. And I'm like, yes. After being kicked out of his boarding school, 17 year old Bruce Wayne returns to Gotham City to find that nothing is as he left it. What once was his family home is now an empty husk Lonely, but haunted by the memory of his parents' murder. It's so dramatic and I love it. <laughs> Selena Kyle, previously the innocent girl next door, now rules over Gotham High School with a dangerous flair, aided by the class clown Jack Napier. Ooh, that's a joker. When a kidnapping rattles the school, Bruce seeks answers as the dark and troubled knight. Or is he actually the pawn? Nothing is ever as it seems, especially at Gotham High, where the parties and romance are of the highest stakes and where everyone is a suspect. Oh my gosh, it's so dramatic about teens and I'm like kind of into it. I love teen melodrama sometimes. <laughs> so yes, they mentioned this book to me about like Riverdale inspired Gotham. And also the art is really gorgeous. It kind of has like that jewel tone vibe to it a lot. Um, the art is like fantastic. So, um, yeah, I was really super into this and it's a graphic novel. It comes out April 7th. So I think it should already be on sale right now. But, um, yeah, Melissa De La Cruz, she's a very famous YA author. I trust her to do YA teen angst. It's justice. So thank you so much DC Entertainment for sending this to me. I am so pumped. I want some angsty teen Batman in my life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. April 7th. It's on sale. <laughs> this is also from a publisher. And I'm not sure what this is from. Um, I think this is from Harper Voyager? It doesn't say, I think it's from Harper Voyager because I, I did request something from them. Let's see what it is. It is, it's from Harper Voyager. Oh my gosh, I asked for this book and they gave it to me. Yeah, I'm so excited. So this is The Sisters Grimm by Mina Van Prague. And I have been so into this book. I asked them, I'm like, please, can I review your book? I like it. And they sent me one. <laughs> I'm so excited. And the cover's gorgeous. Oh, I love it so much. So I'll read the blurb on this one too. 
Once upon a time, a demon who desired earthly domination fathered an army of dark daughters to help him corrupt humanity. As children, Goldie, Liana, Scarlet, and Bee dreamed of a strange other world, a nightscape of peculiar mists, mysterious falling leaves, and hungry ivy. In the Shadowland of Everywhere, the four half-sisters connected by blood and magic begin to nurture their elemental powers, learning to control earth, water, air, and fire. But at 13, they are ripped from everywhere and separated. Five years later, the sisters still feel the loss of one another and their supernatural strengths, though they have no memory of either. Meanwhile, the sisters are not only beset with escalating challenges in their earthly lives, they're also ignorant of the battle that awaits. On their 18th birthday, they will be subjected to a gladiatorial duel to the death with their father's soldiers. The sisters' only chance for survival lies in rediscovering everywhere. The sisters have 33 days to discover who they are, where they came from, and what they can do before they must fight for their lives and those they love. I am obsessed. Like you told me, demon made dark daughters and they have to fight a bunch of guys. I'm like, yes, in it, on it, want it, give me. <laughs> such an awesome awesome premise I'm so into this it kind of reminds me of like the Schwab and that kind of lyrical fantasy building but yes I've been wanting to read this so much thank you so much to Harper Voyager for sending me a copy this is a finished copy not the arc and I think it's already out if not I will put the release date down here if I don't put a release date, it means it's already on sale. You should probably grab a copy because I am so pumped about this. Thank you so much, Harper. Last but not least, I got this box. Um, Leanna from Leanna's library sent me a birthday present. She told me it was going to be late. My birthday was in February and now it is, it's April. <laughs> so um, it's a little late, but it's okay. This is from Creative Lee Crafts. Uh, she is on Etsy. I will put a link to her shop down below. Um, I don't have a code with her but Leanna does so if you put Leanna 10 down when you order something you'll get 10% off your order so hey save you guys some coin let's see what the present is I'm excited oh my gosh you guys you guys you don't even know it's a Tessa Dare mug it's a Tessa Dare mug it's a Tessa Dare mug <laughs> I can't I don't have words this is based on a very famous quote from this book in particular when a Scott ties the knot so it says, my dear imaginary Captain Mackenzie, you are not real and never will be. I, however, am a true and eternal fool. And then you flip it over and it says, here, have a drawing of a snail. <laughs> it's from the book. It's a Tessa Dare mug and it's mine and I own this. I own this Tessa Dare mug and I love it. I love it so much. Oh my gosh. I, I don't even think words are coming out of my mouth. It just sounds because I have a Tessa Dare mug and I don't know what to do with my life anymore. So thank you very much, Leanna. And Lee, you knocked it out of the park with this mug. It's so pretty. And I will just stare at it on my shelf forever. And I love it so much. And it's from this book. And I, I need a moment to compose myself. <laughs> Okay, well that's all the stuff I have for this um, this, this this unboxing and book haul. I'm not putting this down. It's never leaving my hand again, so I'm just going to hold it. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below. Have you read any of these books? And if so, did you like them? Did you dislike them? Hey, of the arcs I got, which ones are you really excited for? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, I love my mug. Tell me that it's amazing because there's no other words to say besides that's amazing. <laughs> If you like this video, make sure you give it a like. And if you want to see more videos, make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye!